How's it going everybody? It's Him Bibble from Him Bibble's house here taking a look at set number 71387, the Adventures with Luigi starter course. It comes with everything you see here except for Mario and Luigi, Yoshi, Boom Boom, a Bone Goomba, and a question mark block which has fallen over. And it comes with these four stru five structure builds, the pipe, the goalposts, and this little gear thing here. I'm not really sure. But anyways, yep, let's go ahead and take a look at the individual pieces. So taking a look at what I believe is the most important part of the set is clearly Luigi first. And he's got a lot to him, just like Mario. He does all the things he can. I think his speaker actually is better and his battery life is a little better. I'm not sure about the battery life, but I know he has a longer idle time than Mario. So if you keep him just standing like that longer, Mario will actually shut down first. I'm not going to time it or whatever, but just from what I've noticed, you know, it, it just that kind of Luigi just will stay on longer. So the question mark block actually is pretty straightforward. What you do is put it on there. See, it's like a mystery. You take it off. Luigi gets something special. So I believe it's only coins, a mushroom, and I think he can get a star from it. Um, yeah, I think. Yep, he can. So with the star, obviously, since he's invincible, this is a bad example. We'll do it on Boom Boom. So Boom Boom, one hit, even though Boom Boom takes seven. And he's out for the count. And with this kind of set, you know, it's kind of hard to look at individual things. So we're going to go ahead and check out this gear thing. It's a little weird. I think it's supposed to go in tandem with this one, which is like a moving tower. Not really sure. Yeah, it doesn't really move. I think it's supposed to be kind of like the cloud where you spin it on its own it's not as cool as the cloud was in my opinion honestly i think this set has a lot to be desired when it comes to starter pieces i mean look at all the individual tiles you got a lot more in the first starter course and i just know that for a fact just looking at all of it and honestly like this this gear thing i don't i don't think it's all that good like, maybe you can do it on the side. I don't know. I think I think the idea of it is cool. But just spinning Mario, spinning Luigi on it, it doesn't work well. And Mario can do the same thing, obviously. I'm going to test it out on him. Remember, he's not included with this. And see, they when they fall, they get confused. So, there is actually another thing with Mario and Luigi, which is why I brought them both here. And I'm sure you know, but they can... Connect. So what you do, you see the two Bluetooth. This one's pretty worn out. Um, you press the Bluetooth, and then they'll just connect. And now they're connected. They get a little cape bow tie. And when you jump them at the same time, see, they get extra coins. If you do it a certain amount of times, you get triple coins. And actually, same thing with Boom Boom. So this will actually show you how many hits it'll take for Boom Boom as well. It's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. And since they did it together, they get a score. And you can actually do a course like that too. So what they have you what they suggest you do in the instructions is you take this platform here like mario and luigi can just jump on these platforms it's pretty straightforward stuff and i'll actually make a course for you guys to check it out they actually t suggest that you take that and you take some of these tiles and you make a little challenge out of the this part which i actually like this part i think this part's pretty cool um but you would put Luigi or Mario in the middle and the tile you're supposed to get it to where it can smack him off and then you just get him oh, I just 
I just hit my, yep. And whenever they get hurt, the other asks if the other's okay. So if we do, for example, we'll do Luigi. Oh, no. So we'll see. Since he had the mushroom, it kind of messed it up. He didn't do it this time. He did ask. He just he did say Luigi, but we'll we'll try it with Mario. Yeah. Oh. So then, actually, with the purple, see they recognize purple. See, he just asked if you're are you okay. And if you take him off, this is an action tile, so he's gonna see that as an action. But see, there's a few other colors they recognize. They recognize brown as like an airship, and it makes a different sound. See if you'll recognize it again. You won't recognize it again. Here, we'll do it on this one. I've noticed they've been having a little trouble with the colors. There you go. So, see, it makes a different sound. Same thing with sand. Green, red, see it's fire, just ask again, are you okay? There's also water, I'm trying to see if I have anything blue I can use on my desk, yes, I use my Rubik's Cube here, so let's see, so see he recognizes blue, and oh, one last thing involving the actual set. You have Yoshi here, which I think it's much better. I haven't tried it with the with Mario's house yet to see if it worked, if they updated that Yoshi tile too. I think it just might be the same. I hope not. But see if you do this, Yoshi actually does appear, and Yoshi actually sees on there. He's just a little pink Yoshi. You take him over here, and See, Yoshi can't actually eat. I think Yoshi can only eat small enemies like this. See, and you get triple coins. He does it for a little. See, and then he'll leave. See, he goes away after like three enemies you kill like that. Um, same thing with the tiles. Tiles, or the tube, pretty straightforward. Just starts it. See, now they're both actually on the course. So you can actually, we'll show this off. So, actually, usually you'd want to do this with two people. I don't have two people with me to do this currently. Let's see. Mario jumps off. And then you can do the gear, I guess. I don't, I really don't like this thing. I don't think it's very useful at all. Um, you just kind of hop off. Talk to Yoshi. See, now they got... Yep, they're gonna get a triple coin. And then... Same thing with Yoshi here. See, he ate it. And... Then Yoshi actually leaves. I prefer Luigi, but, you know, big Nintendo nerd over here, so you can't really, can't get too picky. Jump them at the same time. So, same thing, this tile just does the same thing. They're almost out of time here, but, if you take them to the end right here, gives him a few seconds, and if you just wait... And I'll actually put their coins together. If you if you don't want if you don't want to use these two for our co-op, you could do versus, but you don't need to connect them via Bluetooth, so you could just I don't know if they're just gonna reconnect. They should just Bye 
and you just start them on the same course. I really, they really should have created a translucent sticker that just goes over the eyes that they just apply because like, this is creepy. I don't mind the, the screen as much, but the mouth and the eyes, they really should have done that. I, I would have loved to display these on my desk, like facing forward, but when they're not on, I don't like looking at them on my desk, so I just always would take them on my Bowser, my Bowser's castle set and have Mario facing forward and like, or facing, yeah, facing towards Bowser. But, um, so if you just want to do verses, simple. Start him. Start him. So. So, what's interesting too though, is it looks like the kill translates to both of them? I thought at first it didn't. The music plays out of sync, which is kind of annoying, but... So you get Yoshi for him. I really like that they added that for Yoshi, because like it felt weird not having it. Oh yeah, you can get time from it. I totally forgot. So, see Luigi fell, you can actually see who won, I think I was using Mario a little more this time around, but yeah, he won by like 10 points, that's pretty much it, you can make a course out of this, you could do whatever you want, um, I just really don't think this is worth the same price as the Mario starter course. There's not really much else I could say. Like, the video, pretty straightforward. I like Boom Boom, but Bowser Jr. was a better choice. It's weird that they did Iggy in the... In the... Course Maker, I think it was called. It was it was the one uh, with the blocks that you can change. Um, I really don't like that it's Boom Boom, to be honest. Boom Boom's fine. I like him. But it really should have been one of the other Koopalings. If you're just going to start the other Koopalings, just kind of commit to it. Um, the screens are cool. I, I, I really like these. I, I, used to, I, play, I play around with the Mario stuff a lot. I think it's a lot of fun. I think that, you know, for characters like Yoshi and stuff, it's great to get them brick built. Because I really don't think they would work as minifigures. But... When it comes to these two, we should at least get these two and Peach and Daisy, for example, as minifigures. Like, it would just be nice. They'd be out of scale with these, but that's perfectly fine. Like, no, like, it's not, it doesn't matter all that much. Um, that's all I really got to say about the set itself. I do think that when it comes to Mario, there should be a way to have a longer course, especially if you want to go through all of the sets. If you own most of the sets, like I do, it, it kind of sucks that you only have to pick and choose some of the things that you do. Like, say, if you do Bowser's Castle, you're only going to have enough time for Bowser's Castle. And maybe, like, Mario's house or something. Um, other than that, like, I really wish that there was more stuff in this set. It feels like there's less, even though... I'll there's probably about the same amount. I'd have to get my box out and compare the piece count to see. But, you know, Mar like, once again, you know, oh, he does go, he does make some sounds sometimes. All power-ups work with Luigi, but they look weird because they're all Mario-oriented. I don't know why they didn't plan for this con that kind of contingency, like uh, making more ambiguous power-ups maybe or whatever. I don't know. There, there definitely could have been a different way to handle it. Um, really limits what Luigi can wear for me. I'd say maybe the bee suit, and which are, you know, I think that was the intention. The bee and the frog suit, which I don't own yet, would be fine. And maybe the tanuki suit, the penguin suit, and then definitely not cat builder. Basically any of the first wave ones. I think they at that point they weren't sure if they were going to actually finish with Luigi. Um, two things actually that I am missing from the set. 
they're they're in a storage box already. The cactus right here, and two little candles. Other than that, everything's here. I just I I like this. This is fun. I I for like a whole day when I got this, I was just messing around with it just because it's it's fun. Just fun to mess around with. You can spin them around while they're on it. It's just cool. And I, I like that. I like this. I like Yoshi. I like that you get another tube, you know, which is fine. We have a few of those. Um, I think Boom Boom's fine. This is this is dumb. I don't I don't know if you're supposed to put this here, activate or here. I like that we get a little more tower builds, but at the same time, like it feels like less than the Mario starter course for the same price. I I just wish that they like I, I was super excited for this. I love Luigi. I I loved what looked like was in the set, but getting it just kind of felt a little disappointed with some of the stuff they added. This is just fun. Like this, I I I might actually just keep this out and just kind of mess with it every now and again, just because it, it's fun. You got this, and I like all the two-player sets that they're making, but I haven't gotten them yet. But this, this is a little disappointing. Imagine you don't have Mario. They make this with the intention of you already having Mario, which is fine. But paying $120 for this and then Mario, which is, you know... Mario you can probably find on sale now, but they, this is just, they could have included more. Um, other than that, you know, I, I love the Mario wave, like, it's fun, it's just fun to mess around with, but this could have had more. It could have had more interesting stuff, this, this needed to be replaced. They should have at least made it where there's a ball joint at the bottom, this is like a uh, there's like a technic hole right here, and you just roll it on the ground, and the gear moves. That would have been fun, but they didn't really think that through, I think. Because, like, it, it only reacts to you spinning it. Oh, yeah. Um, other than that, that's all I gotta say about this. I'm not gonna even buy. I know I said I was gonna build this, build a whole course, but honestly, like, y you get the idea. I'll probably build a course for, say, if I review the Mario stuff. I don't even know where I'd find all the Mario stuff right now, though. That's all in a storage box. Maybe I'll review Bowser's Castle and make a little... Yeah. Make a little thing out of that. But, yeah. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I really do... I like Luigi. I like this. I like some of the components of the set. But if, if, if you wanted my opinion, just wait for a sale. Just wait to get that and get mario while you're at it probably be better off getting the mario starter course in general but if you wanted to get luigi like i did this is this is fine i'd say this is fine at like 50 dollars maybe is like as high as i'd go 40 would be the perfect but i know they're not going to do that so wait for a sale but yeah thank you guys all so much for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Okay, thanks. Bye.